Here are some ideas on how to decorate your kitchen for fall and make it smell so good. Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. The kitchen is I believe the heart of the home, especially when it, we move into fall and winter, when it gets colder outside, we're baking more inside, we're cooking more inside, and we're gathering as a family in the kitchen and at the kitchen table. Today I want to show you how I decorated our kitchen for fall, one little trick to make your kitchen smell delicious, a fun DIY, plus a simple table setting for your family. I'm using inexpensive items and I'm trying to keep the kitchen beautiful but still practical to work in. All right, let's get started. Let's begin by setting up a really simple tablescape for my family for fall. Here in Canada, we have Thanksgiving in the middle of October, so it's actually coming up quite soon. I thought I would set up a cozy little table area that we could use as a family. I made this macrame DIY table runner and I'll link the tutorial for it down in the description box below. I'm setting that up on our table here in our nook and adding some pumpkins that I picked up from that local pumpkin farm I mentioned a few videos ago, putting those in the center and adding a candle. These plates I found from Walmart a few years ago and I use them all the time. I love the simplicity of the white and the little bit of texture. These napkins are actually dish towels I found on Amazon. I'll link them down in the description box below. I've used dish towels often as napkins because I love their oversized look and sometimes they're even less expensive than napkins. I'm not a huge fan of orange, however I loved just this little simple stripe on these napkins. I'm adding some simple cups and cutlery to make this casual table setting that I think is perfect for fall and our Canadian Thanksgiving for our family. Now let's do a DIY that is so cute for a fall kitchen. I have this cutting board from Walmart. I found it there a few years ago and I love the wood and the marble. I thought it would be fun to give it a little bit of a decoration that's perfect for autumn. This is Cricut's removable vinyl so I can put this on the cutting board and then remove it whenever I want to change up my decor. I'm putting it here on my Cricut mat, and then I found some adorable artwork on Cricut Design Space. It says pumpkin, spice, everything in a really beautiful handwritten font. And I'm gonna cut this onto the vinyl. If you don't have a Cricut, I'm gonna leave some links down in the description box below where you can buy a similar sticker for your own cutting board. There's lots of people on Etsy that create these and sell them. Once I cut the design from the vinyl, I'm just removing all of the excess, which is called weeding, and then I'm placing some transfer tape over top, which ensures my design transfers perfectly onto my cutting board. If you wanna know more about the Cricut machine, I will leave some links down in the description box below. I have a few videos that go through everything you need to know about purchasing a Cricut and using it. It's one of my favorite DIY tools in my arsenal. Now I'm putting the cutting board down and placing this design on top. I made it 11 inches wide. The cutting board is about 13 inches wide, so I thought it was a really good size for this cutting board. 
Now I'm smoothing the vinyl on top and then pulling back the transfer tape. And my DIY cutting board for fall is complete. I think this turned out so cute and I'll probably just store it away for next fall because I'm probably not going to remove this vinyl at all. I'm placing it here in the corner of my kitchen. I love to add subtle decorations in the kitchen, nothing too crazy because I do want to use my counters. So cutting boards like this leaning up against the backsplash are a great way to decorate your kitchen but not take up any of that important counter space. I found these glass and copper lidded jars on Amazon. I will link them in the description box below. They're a favorite. I got them last year and I've used them for Christmas and fall for a variety of different things. This season, I'm putting some brown sugar and white sugar inside so we can easily add sugars to our baking, coffee, and teas. Another simple thing you can do for your fall kitchen is to change up your soaps by your sink. I have my soap sitting on top of this smaller cake stand and I'm just swapping them out for Mrs. Meyer scents that are really fall inspired. Okay, now I want to show you how to make your kitchen smell absolutely delicious and festive for fall. I found this copper pot at my thrift store and thought it was so beautiful. We're gonna make a fall themed simmer pot. Take some water and place it in a pot like I'm doing here. And then you can take some orange peels and some apple peels. If you're making a pie or you're cutting up snacks, this would be the perfect place to put all of your extra citrus peels, your apple peels. You could also add lemon or lime, whatever you like. Next, add two to three cinnamon sticks inside your pot. And then you can add some whole cloves. I just shake a whole bunch on there. And then finally, you can add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can play with all of the ingredients in your simmer pot. This is just the combo that I like the best for fall. Now you want to place your pot on the stove to boil. Once it's boiling, turn it down to a simmer on the low setting. You can put the lid on or off your pot and then wait to see how amazing your house smells when you have this simmering on your stovetop all day. I wish you guys could smell this. It is so good. Another thing you can add to your autumn kitchen is a festive dish towel. I found this one at Ikea. It came in a set of two and I think it is adorable. Nothing is better in my opinion and more cost effective than adding natural elements to your decor, especially in your kitchen for seasonal decorating. I found these leaves outside in our yard. I added them to this Ikea vase and a couple more pumpkins from the pumpkin farm down the road. On this side of our stove, I just have our Dutch oven out here, a wire basket full of recipe books, and my mixer that I use almost every day. So here's how our kitchen looks for fall. Just some simple little decor accents, a little bit of orange and natural colors, and we're ready to celebrate the season with our family.
Thanks. Thanks so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed these kitchen decorating ideas for fall. Let me know down in those comments below which of these ideas was your favorite or which part of our kitchen you liked the best. And let me know how you decorate your kitchen for fall if you do it all. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy and watch next right up here.